Welcome to another RHQ Reaction video. I'm Shorty P. I'm Duke. Today we're going to be reacting to Ruby Volume 8, Episode 6, Midnight. Midnight. Hmm. You know, all these episodes hmm. are like one word titles and I still can't freaking remember them. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what the last one was. Uh, it was very like ominous. Amity, I think. Yeah, uh, Strings was the other one before that? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Very ominous. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, Game Guy says this will make you sad and worried all at the same time. Good. <laughs> well, f- that's what you need from like a mid season type of uh, episode. Just F uh, in the chat, everybody. Speaking of which, if you are not aware, uh, we were just recently made aware. Uh, Duke read something, brought it to my attention. Um, Ruby will be going on a mid season break after next week's episode, after chapter seven. Uh, and they will be coming back like the first Saturday in February, whatever that is. I can't remember what I said now, like the third, I think it is. Okay. Um, I'd have to look, but it, I'm pretty sure it's the first Saturday in February. So that's where our reactions will pick up again. Um, in the meantime, we need something to react to on Tuesdays to fill that gap. So please leave us your suggestions down below. Yeah, something fitting for Ruby Tuesdays. Yeah, something... Uh, you know, something animated, something kind of fun, but also kind of serious. Uh, you know, something in there. I know a lot of people have asked us to react to Ruby Chibi. Um, I still don't know how I feel about doing another Rooster Teeth series just because I don't know what would happen with the blocks and stuff. But, yeah. Uh, uh, just give us something, you know, a series that could fit in between that uh, between that gap, and uh, we'll check it out. Uh, yes. Also, while you're here, please like, subscribe, and comment. Also, uh, head over to patreon.com slash rhcrew. Subscribe there for early access. Uh, right now, the $10 tier gets you the live stream of our action to Ruby. Uh, it also gets you, uh, let's see, the $5 tier gets you early access uh, one week to the Ruby reactions. And there's also some bonus content and stuff you can go check out over there, too. Much, much more. Yeah. I was, uh, sorry, man. We got to say much, much more. I am so out of it with this freaking... This, this <laughs> yeah. like i can't like do all my normal stuff and for some reason it's making me it's making my brain think worse <laughs> so poor guy uh <laughs> all right anyway you should see the fucking car i'm just gonna throw that out there the left. This, yeah it's effed i actually think it looks worse than it is anyway yeah. that's that's another topic Fair all enough. right let's get into it craziness and sadness that's what i've been told by game guy about this episode Oh, also, uh, just out of a curious uh, personal thing, uh, let me know what your favorite songs are from the soundtracks. Because uh, before we do our live streams, I always play like two or three songs from the Ruby soundtrack while people get into the chat and the lobby and everything. And uh, yeah, just what are, I would like to know what people's favorites are so we can go check those out as we're waiting on people to get in. Yes. Dude, I love this intro. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, thanks, game guy. Yeah, I. Uh, it doesn't really hurt that bad. It's just, it has thrown me all out of whack because I'm extremely right-handed, and <laughs> so now I can't do anything. And I think even do like the little things that I normally do, just like to distract myself while I'm talking, like messing with remotes and like adjusting stuff. I can't do with my right hand, so I really like it. My brain is slower now. <laughs> Uh, that that scene right there with Penny's, Penny's going eye. from blue to red, yes. it has so much more meaning now. There's a great <sighs> picture on Twitter of Team Ruby having to fight like a, a really effed up uh, Penny. Really? Yeah. Oof. The cinder? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does she have step brothers instead of step sisters? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'll take her. Well, that's weird. 
What'd that say? Glass slipper? I don't know. I didn't see. I couldn't. A place with grim statues as decorations has got to be shady as hell. Right? Welcome to the speakeasy, see? Oh, uh, maybe they fill the role of the evil, evil stepsisters. What? Jeez, fuck. And bread. You're to make sure the laundry is folded, the dishes are spotless, and the floors are clean enough to eat off of. Make me bitch. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, man. Yeah, because, you know. Food. <laughs> now hurry and get to your chores. The floor looks filthy. <laughs> big, big oof. This makes me mad. Yeah. I don't like people being mistreated. This song is on point. Scrub the dishes yeah. in the sink. No one said that you should think. Shine the silver, wash the clothes, and when you're finished, darn the socks, draw my bath, fetch my slippers, fill my glass, and rub my feet. Hurry up, you're so slow. You're no good. I hope you know that your life is of no use. And the truth is that no one's ever loved you. <laughs> You missed a spot. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> well, she found her power. Yep. <clears throat> we do not serve fun. Now that wasn't very ladylike, was it? Try the necklace. I suggest you remember your place. Say it! Without you, I am nothing. Ah. It's the same shit she says to Salem. So I guess that's programmed right, into her head, huh? Yeah. Someone took my damn sword. I apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, we'll help you look for it. No, that's not yours, is it? <laughs> I'm not here to hurt you. Some big ass maces he just dropped on the floor. Yeah. I've seen you around, and I think it's safe to say you're not getting the most fair treatment. Yeah? I can't really blame you for what you're thinking. You don't know what But I'm hurting them isn't going to make your life any better. You can run, but you're going to be running for the rest of your life. Or you could find another way to handle it. Like you? You can do whatever you want. Go wherever you want. <sighs> How old are you? Ten. And you want to be like us. You want to be a huntress. Huh. <laughs> then we've got about seven years. For what? To train you for the huntsman exam. So I gave you the blade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Scrummy sticks. Game guy raises the question, how's this legal? It's not. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. Just a few more years and you won't need your guardian's permission. You'll be free. Mom, come quick. We found something. It's Cinder. She has a weapon. Hmm. Hello? That time skip is not good. Anyone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she probably, I mean, she had enough. Yeah. <laughs> Esophagus. Yep. Cinder. I don't want to have to run now. That's all you'll ever do. She gonna have to kill him now? Skin. That's what it looks like. Maybe like a steel. Yeah. Oh, damn. Damn, already? Uh, okay. I'm going to say, there is a difference here. One of them's fighting to kill, the other one's not. says I am multiple levels of sad yeah, yeah. It's pretty fucking sad finally man You're awake. getting you get cinder it. backstory so worried. you get it how are you feeling you you brought me back here we failed cinder you were hurt I, I was just trying to help I think she's had enough help besides she went against our queen I'd be careful who you back. <sighs> Cinder's up. hunch was right. If we'd had support, then maybe we would've- Would you stop trying to protect her already? She doesn't care about you. Both of you, get out. I'll let you know when you're needed next. Yeah, about that. Salem's got other plans for me. I'm not gonna be taking orders from you anymore. She wants everyone on the bridge. Something arm. big is about to happen. I'd like to express again that this is my burden to bear, not yours. <laughs> this grudge is with me. No, it'll be even worse. He's holding back with me. I can tell. I understand. I eye, do. Bro. Yeah. But you've done so much already. The least I can do is give you a break and try to get us out of here. We can't leave yet. This is our chance. Guys, his chest is all black like there was an Maybe explosion. Maybe you've taken one too many hits. Salem. She knows she can't take on the whole world at once. 
so she doesn't. She has her followers work their way in, sabotaging us from the inside out. Maybe, Maybe we, we should, should do, do the, the same. same. We certainly are similar, you and I. Maybe we have been presented with an opportunity. That's a different Ospin voice. Great. Oscar, please. <gasps> you don't need to fight this war, kid. Tell me what I need, and we can be done. Hello, Hazel. Coward! All this time, it could have been you, but you let him suffer. <laughs> now. Tell us how this damn lamp works. The boy has suffered enough. Why do you follow her? I know. I know how you see me. But her? Look at what she does. How is she the answer? Why not stop her? Salem can't be stopped. She's a force of nature. I've seen it firsthand. But you... You send children to their deaths for a cause that you know has no victory, no end. Someone has to try. Salem isn't a force of nature because Salem can be fought. Unless she brings the relics together. If that happens. Ozma. You have wonderful timing. <laughs> the show is about to begin. So Tyrion's there, so... Yeah. Hmm. Still, the only two I can think of is either Leo Lionheart or Ruby's mom, Summer. Yeah. We have good news. Tyrion has heard from our dear colleague, Watts. Although he remains in captivity, it seems that he has worked with Ironwood to gain some control over the puppet masquerading as the Winter Maiden. I suppose he remains useful after all. Speaking of which... Cinder. <laughs> oh, dear God. You chose to disobey my specific instructions. Just fail again. And I've realized... It's all my fault. You fought your whole life unwaveringly for what you want, and here I am holding you back instead of lifting you up. You deserve so much more than I've given you. <laughs> Go to Atlas. Recover I wonder if he's walls. warning her. He can lead you to the girl. Whether you or my hound get to her first, you will finally have the Winter Maiden's power, and I will have my staff. You'll only be helping her bring about the end for all of you! You're too late. Do the hacks just not work? How do we even know we can trust Watts? We have confirmed visual of her leaving Amity. She appeared to be malfunctioning. This is why I don't trust technology. Now we're wasting our time searching for broken junk. Enough. You're Atlas Elite. Act like it. Um, uh, ma'am? We're picking up an open comms broadcast. Play it. It's headed straight for Mantle. I repeat, a large, massive rim is headed straight for Mantle. The whale? Please, anyone. Monster? Or is it something different? Oh, is it the thing that came out of the ice? Great. Mm. You guys. Did you hear our message? It's right there. We need to hurry. Where's Penny? Are you serious right now? There are people in danger. There are people in danger because you kids are acting selfish and... Watch out for that lamp. Probably should have also, like, spat out something about the River of Grimm. There's that. Oh my god.
They finally do something. Yeah. Oh, oh no. The whole city's fucked. They're fucked. Finally gonna get flying monkeys. We got a lot of stuff. There's a lot of shit. Don't tell me, don't tell me. You don't. know it's coming. Mother Hands fucking down the best fucking writing in the series. So this good. is my favorite episode. So good. Dude, fuck it. Hard. Okay, maybe maybe still second to uh learning about Salem and Ozma's backstory. This I love this one. There it was just it had such a tone to it. The whole episode, all the way through. Badass. Finally I'm understand the why the original villain, uh Cinder, is doing what she's doing. Right. <laughs> Game guy, well, rest in peace, Atlas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they thought they were untouchable. F in the chat for Atlas. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, drop that shit. Um, I, I got one right now coming. Boom. <laughs> Man. Shit. Oh, shit. That's a cool pick. Damn, dude. Great episode. Yeah. You feel sorry for Cinder, and you understand her now. Yeah. And I didn't. I did not understand her before. I yeah. just did not. And now, I mean, I get why she's doing what she's doing. I still feel like... They could have gave me a little bit more. How did she meet this bitch? How did she? How did Cinder meet Salem? Yeah, I think we're gonna slowly get the rest of her story over mm, the season. Okay, um, man, that but that was crazy. Uh, there were there were like little things too that I really liked. Um, in when they were in the ship, uh, Winter and the Ace Ops. There was like a slight echo, like it would sound if you were talking in a in a small room. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, that that's so cool!" The way they thought about that and added that, it wasn't just it didn't sound just like a normal conversation. Game guy says, "Can't forgive her, but I definitely understand how she got that way." Yeah, that brings to one of my favorite sayings is that explains it, but it doesn't um, doesn't excuse it. Yes. So, yeah. Interesting, interesting episode. I'm going to go back and watch this one again again because uh, I'm... Dude, that's funny. You shit post in the wrong neighborhood. Subscribe to us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't let that one go. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm going to find out who that person is. I'm going to follow them just because that's an awesome name. Uh, just a great episode. Um, yeah. What can I say? Uh so Ospin's out, and he's he decided to you know take a hit for the team. Um, he looked like he almost appealed to Hazel for a minute. Yeah, Hazel was like really, really thinking about it. Yeah, and he was just like, but he, she can't be stopped. So. I want to know what he saw. Yeah, when yeah. he was like, she can't be stopped. I've seen it. Yeah, That's like a- what the hell did she do? Right, hmm. and like, can't he? You would think that there's a good uh, a good way to appeal to Hazel and being like, yeah, the only reason your sister was sent to die is because of Salem. Right. Like, she wasn't releasing Grimm into the world and doing all this shit. Your sister would never have had to fight. Yeah. Yeah, you'd think, like, why would you join the person who technically killed your sister? Right. You're fighting against the person who was trying to stop the person who killed your sister. Right. So, See, I don't know. I think they'll work that angle. I think it'll work. It, it makes me like Hazel less. Like him less because he's got a dumb reason? <laughs> y- yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a dumb damn reason. It's like, you know what? Uh, I blame you even though, you know, you technically were, you know, at least two stages away from being 
uh, responsible well, for my sister's death, even though there's someone who's directly responsible. Well, I think his reason is like, why are you even fighting her? She can't be stopped. Like you're just sending kids to their deaths. Then why? Then why is he seeing? I, I'm, to me, he seems angry at Ospin, and he doesn't. He, his anger is misplaced. Obviously, everybody I think believes that. Well, it's like he said, she's a force of nature. It's like being angry at a tornado. Yeah. Like the I'll tornado. Still, I'll, still, I'll still knock a tornado the fuck out. <laughs> I'll much punch that motherfucker. Punch <laughs> uh, I mean, the tornado just happens regardless. You know, I think that's the way he's talking about Salem. Like she just is what she is. You know, it'd be like if you literally sent some kid in there with like a bomb to try to blow up and stop the tornado, and the t- and the kid got killed. Believe me, you- take this bomb. <laughs> right, take this bomb. Walk right to the other tornado, detonate it. Isn't that what that? Out. Isn't that what he said? I don't know. I th- I, s- I seriously think Trump said something about using bombs to stop tornadoes. He said he said some awesome stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but you would be you would be pissed at the guy who sent the kid in with the bomb to blow up the tornado. You'd be like, "The fuck are you thinking, you idiot?" Nuke the hurricane. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll take a five megaton we'll take a five megaton uh, nuclear bomb, drop it right in the eye of the hurricane. Boom! No more hurricane. Believe me, it'll work. <laughs> Something like that happened in one of the Sharknado movies. <laughs> Yeah, I've not watched. I've watched. Okay, I've watched the first one, but I didn't watch. Any they are all glorious in their own right. I'm sure they are. Um. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in once again. Uh, this was a great episode. I loved it. I loved everything about this episode. Yes. Cannot wait for the mid season finale next week. Uh, so keep that in mind. That next week will be the last Ruby episode until the first Saturday in February. Um, and then we'll pick up with our reactions again then. Uh. Did I already say like, subscribe, and comment while you're here? Also, go check out patreon.com slash rhcrew. It's where you get early access to our reactions, bonus content, and access to the live stream for reaction videos. And we'll see you next time. Later, y'all.